Greeting from Myth Bear Co. Please enjoy our story vodcast. Fantasies End. Chapter 1. The Enchanted Town. Everbrook was a picturesque town straight out of a fairy tale. Its charming streets, winding through lush forests and rolling hills. Detective Sarah Munro admired its peaceful facade. But when a series of gruesome murders shocked the town, she was thrust into a nightmare beyond imagination. As Sarah delved into the investigation, she found herself drawn deeper into Everbrook's secrets, uncovering a darkness lurking beneath its idyllic surface. Chapter 2 The First Victim Cinderella's Demise Emily Thompson, a hopeful actress, caught the eye of the killer as she walked home from work. Entranced by her dreamy demeanor, he followed her into the woods where he ended her life. Dressing her in a Cinderella costume, he added a disturbing touch by forcing her to hold a bunch of dead mice. Mimicking Cinderella's friends, Sarah, horrified by the scene, realized the killer's twisted obsession with fairy tales. As Sarah struggled to make sense of the first murder, she found herself haunted by memories of her own past. The darkness of the case stirred old wounds, forcing her to confront her own demons as she delved deeper into the investigation. Chapter 3 The Second Victim Snow White's Tragedy Lily Morgan, a theater student, was lured to an abandoned barn by the killer. He saw himself as the Prince Awakening, Snow White from her poison slumber after staging the murder with poisoned apples, he forced Lily to bite into each one, ensuring her demise. Sarah's investigation led her to the local theater company, where she encountered Sebastian Blackwood, a director deeply immersed in the world of fairy tales. As Sarah continued her investigation, she found herself growing increasingly, obsessed with unraveling the killer's motives. Sleepless nights and endless hours spent pouring over evidence took their toll, blurring the line between reality and the twisted fantasies of the killer. Chapter 4 The Theater Connection Sarah delved into the theater company's secrets suspecting Sebastian's involvement. As she uncovered clues, she realized the killer's twisted motive stemmed from a childhood obsession with fairy tales. The more she dug, the clearer it became that the killer was reenacting these tales with his victims. Haunted by the specter of the killer's next move, Sarah found herself consumed by the case. Every lead, every piece of evidence brought her closer to the truth, but also deeper into the darkness that threatened to consume her. Chapter 5 The Third Victim Rapunzel's Fate Sophia Reed, a florist enchanted by fairy tales, became the killer's next victim. Her ethereal beauty drew him in, and he saw himself as the prince rescuing Rapunzel from her tower. After ending her life in a garden maze, he carefully styled her hair and applied makeup to match Rapunzel's iconic look. Sarah's pursuit of the truth led her deeper into the killer's psyche, confronting the darkness that lurked within Everbrook. As the body count rose, Sarah felt the weight of the case bearing down on her. 
Each victim was a reminder of the stakes, driving her to push harder, dig deeper in her quest to bring the killer to justice. Chapter 6, The Killer's Best Show, Sleeping Beauty's End. Sarah's worst fears materialized when the killer targeted her best friend, Rebecca Lane. Determined to inflict maximum pain, he staged the murder. With Rebecca as sleeping, Beauty, believing he was, bringing her back to life with true love's kiss. Sarah intervened, just in time, confronting the darkness that had engulfed her, town and her own life. As Sarah faced off against the killer, she found herself grappling with her own inner demons. The line between Hunter and Hunted blurred as she stared into the abyss, determined to emerge victorious no matter the cost. Chapter 7, The Final Confrontation In a tense showdown, Sarah faced off against the killer, her resolve unwavering. As the truth unfolded, Sarah realized the depth of the killer's delusions and the scars he left behind. With a single shot, she ended the nightmare that had gripped Everbrook, but the emotional toll lingered, leaving Sarah haunted by the memories of those lost. As the dust settled and the town began to heal, Sarah found herself reflecting on the journey that had led her here. The scars may never fully fade, but she knew that she had emerged stronger, wiser, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Chapter 8 The Aftermath As Sarah bid farewell to Everbrook, she knew that some nightmares could never be forgotten. Despite the darkness that had consumed the town, she found solace in the strength she had discovered within herself. Years later, she returned to Everbrook. A silent tribute to those who had lost their lives in the grip of the killer's twisted fantasies. Epilogue. Remembrance. Sarah stood before the memorial, tears in her eyes as she paid homage to the victims. Their names etched in stone were a solemn reminder of the darkness that had once threatened to consume Everbrook. But as Sarah looked around, she saw the town had healed, its beauty undiminished by the horrors of the past. In that moment, she knew that while the scars may never fade, the strength of the human spirit would always prevail. Thank you for watching.